What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about one of my favorite extensions, Placemaker. So Placemaker is the extension that you can use to easily create a city with a single click inside of SketchUp. So um, I will note that Placemaker is currently 50% off as a part of their Black Friday um, Cyber Monday sale. So if that's something you're interested in, you've had your eye on uh, some easy city creation, this would be a good time to check that out. I will link to that in the notes down below. But let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so the first thing you need to do when you're working in Placemaker is you need to add a location. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go in here and we're going to we're going to click on the button for create geo surface. That's going to allow us to select a location. So in this case, for example, let's say we wanted to bring in somewhere in Vancouver. So we could do Vancouver. And so let's bring in a location for Vancouver. So what we want to do is we want to find whatever spot we want to bring in, right? So for example, I want to bring in We'll say this area right here. So we're just going to click on the button for select area. Then we can kind of edit this to get the area that we want. And note that you don't want to bring in more than you need to just due to the credit system. Um, so just find an area that you need. You don't really need to pick up all this extra area. But then we can just click on the button for import area. So what that's going to do is that's going to bring this in and geolocate your model in this location, right? So now we have this area right here where we can create our city. Let's start by bringing in some buildings. So you can bring in OpenStreetMap buildings or you can bring in the Microsoft buildings if you want. So I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna click on the button for import buildings. And so what this is gonna do is this is gonna bring the buildings in and it's also gonna show you how many credits this would use in order to import this. So you can see how, for example, um, all of these buildings would be created by the OpenStreetMap data inside of Placemaker. So you can get this full city in here. If I was to cancel this, you do the same thing with the Microsoft buildings where you can just click on the button right here. Um, the Microsoft buildings are mostly American based though, I believe so you may not get them depending on where you're at. So let's go ahead and let's uh, use the OpenStreetMap data and I'm just gonna click on the button to import buildings. And so when I import this, what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring all of these buildings in. It's gonna ask me to confirm. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. And so this will use 58 of my credits in order to create these buildings. And so notice how what this has done is this has come in here and this has basically used the map data in order to build out the buildings in that Vancouver area. And so let's add some more detail to this. So we can do that by clicking on it. And there's a button right here for import roads. And so what import roads is gonna do is that's gonna go in and it's gonna use map data in order to generate roads based on the location that is in here. So notice how again, this is currently using credits in order to do that. So I'm gonna click on the button for confirm order. I'm gonna click on okay. So what that's done is that's built out the roads inside of this area. So now I have buildings and I have roads and I can toggle those on and off. And so I do want to note that there's two options in here in Placemaker. So there's the pay as you go, which means that you can download Placemaker for free and use credits, kind of like I was um, in this image. There's also an option here for the subscription model though. The subscription model, um, you can pay a single subscription and then that open street map data is free and you don't have to pay credits to create things like roads and other things like that. You do still need credits for like the high resolution near map stuff and that kind of thing, but um, that might be a better option if you're gonna create a lot of different cities and a lot of things like that. You don't wanna deal with the credits over and over again. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring in the water bodies. So I'm gonna click on import water. So I'm just gonna confirm my order. And then I'm also going to bring in the pathways. So the pathways is gonna bring in all of the pavement that's in here. So if I click on import paths, that's gonna bring this in and we're gonna preview that and we're gonna confirm that order as well. So now I've got my paving in here with my pathways. I've got my roads, I've got my water, I've got all that different stuff all being brought in by Placemaker. So you can see how this allowed me to create a really detailed city 
really quickly. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to do some work, maybe, um, let's see, I'm gonna turn my paths off for a second and take a look at this. Let's say that we wanted to do some detailed work, maybe over here in this area. So what we could do is there's an option in here to bring in more detailed satellite imagery using NearMap. So NearMap is a high resolution imagery provider that provides much higher resolution images than what we're showing right here. And so I wanna bring some of that in. But um, first off, I'm gonna turn my roads, um, my buildings, all of that stuff off so that I can just take a look at this actual mesh right here. So what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna try to bring in near map imagery for this whole thing, right? Cause you'd use a ton of credits. It just wouldn't really be good. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to right click and unlock this. I'm gonna double click in here and I'm just gonna draw out a mesh for the area that I wanna bring in. So I'm just basically splitting this face up. And so when I split this face up, what that means is that means I can bring in near map data for a much smaller area. So now, if I was to click on import imagery with this face selected, what that's gonna do is that's gonna go find the near map imagery and notice how I have the zoom set to max. If I had the zoom set to maybe like medium, then this wouldn't use as many credits. So you can see how my credits are a lot less if I set this to medium rather than max. Um, high is gonna be somewhere in the middle. So if I click on high, you can see how that's gonna take more credits as well. And then this is going to be max. So I'll go ahead and bring in the maximum just so you can see the quality of the imagery that comes in. But just note that there are lower credit using options in here. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on import imagery and it's gonna ask me to use credits and I'm gonna say yes. So when I confirm credits, what that's gonna do is that's gonna go out and that's gonna bring in that high resolution map data and that's gonna replace your surface that's in here. So notice how what that did, I mean, clearly there's a difference here between the stuff around the outside of this and what's actually brought in by near map. Notice as you zoom in, this near map data is very detailed. It's very high quality. So you can use this in order to bring in higher quality images in areas that you need. But now if I was to turn everything on, so my roads and my buildings and everything else, you can see how what this does is this allows me to bring in really great context data as well as actual detailed data right here um, that you could use in order for site planning or other things like that. And then last thing we'll do is we'll just click on our face and let's just bring some trees in. And so when we bring trees in, what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring trees in in areas that are set as green areas. Um, for Vancouver, we might only get that over here. I'm kind of interested to see what it does, but I'm gonna click on import trees. We'll click on confirm order. And yeah, we got a little bit of tree data over here. Um, I think these trees only come in in areas where OpenStreetMap actually shows tree data. So um, really we only got trees over here, but you can use this to bring in trees as well in areas that are set as green areas. So like I said, there is a subscription option where you don't have to use credits in order to do a lot of these things. You can kind of make the call on that one. If you're creating a lot of buildings and stuff, it's probably the better option. If you're only using this every now and then, it might be a better option to go with the credit system. But in either case, you can see how I can create a city model really fast. I mean, this probably would have taken me days at least to do manually, but I was able to do it in the course of about 10 minutes. So I do love what this extension can do for creating cities inside of SketchUp. So I will link to this in the notes down below. Like I said, it is currently 50% off. So make sure to go check that out before that sale ends. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.